you know how airlines charge extra for people that are overweight? Yeah. I feel like I deserve extra when I give lap dances to people that are overweight mm -hmm. because I have to spread my legs so far <laughs> and it makes it so hard for me to really do anything. So it really limits the amount of money that I can extort from that person. <laughs> Very limiting. Yes. I know. I'm probably the only comedian that you'll ever meet whose parents are really thrilled with this career change. <laughs> um, what? I, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, so, clap if you're a sports fan. Hey, <laughs> Thank God for that. Um, do you guys know who Doc Gooden is? Yeah. Okay. So he was at my club the other night, and uh, we were doing a um, photo shoot with TMZ there. So it's actually really exciting for me now. I can use that as a comedy credit, <laughs> um, which I guess you have to know about the comedy world, where it's hard to get credits. People really, they always lie about their credits. I can kind of claim that I was, I was on TMZ, sort of, but it would beg Doc to put his hand on my ass. So, <laughs> depends on how you look at it, if that really counts as a credit or not. <laughs> um, I see you in the corner. What's up? <laughs> uh, it's uh, how people stalk me at work, too. So. <laughs> You want to do a champagne room later? <laughs> um, so my comedy it kind of really took off. I only started doing it about a year ago, and I realized like, I'm a lot different than other comedians. Is truth be told, no one really gives a shit what funny thing your niece did last week. Everyone gives a shit what funny thing happened in the strip club. So uh, you know, then. <laughs> I've been actually trying to culminate the two things in my life, like being a stripper, being a comedian, and everything. I'm also trying to figure out why I've been single for so long. But then, the other night, I got home from work, and I found someone else's pubic hair on me. <laughs> I realized it's not the uh, optimal <laughs> way to get a boyfriend. <laughs> um, but no, I, I actually, I did recently get a boyfriend. Uh, I'm staying with him until he runs out of money. Let's see, other jokes that I've, I've written in my life. Um, <laughs> it's a replica of what I do at work. <laughs> no, you know, people always know it's like, like, are you really a stripper? Are you like, are you actually a prostitute? Um, you know, my parents. I, I feel like when I was a child, I got molested just enough to be okay with being a stripper, but not enough to be okay with being a prostitute. So that's the difference between me and the other girls that take it one step further. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is this is where I get thrown out of this place. You guys better. <laughs> so stripping's a really difficult industry because you're never young enough, you're never thin enough, and you're never blonde enough. Basically, you're never Jean Benet Ramsey enough. <laughs> I think that joke is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so, uh, anyway, if you like me comedy, um, you can, or if you want to see me half naked, you can follow me on Instagram, it's Stripper Comedian, and if you want to see me totally naked, you can come to see me at work anytime, it's Vivid in Manhattan. Thank you. Woo!